Hello guys, welcome back. Sam Skills here. VST instruments. These virtual instruments are really important for your music production. It's like they are the core of every single music production. How we edit them, how we can shape our sound with these plugins. Let's check this out together, and especially we're going to see two different VSTs. The Retrolog and the Harion Sonic SE. Both are included in Cubase Pro or Cubase Artist. Let's check this out together. Okay guys, uh, in this lesson we are going to focus more on the VST instruments to understand how we can edit, how we can work on the setups and shape the sounds. And uh, especially in this one I'm going to focus only on two different uh, VST instruments and when you understand the basics of these ones you will find out all or majority of the VST instruments uh, have the same functionality and the same uh, uh, way of working. So you see here I've been adding a few instruments in different channels and if I click on top of the channel you can always see which VST instruments I'm using over here, Retrolog over here. And if I click on another one, you can see that Halion Sonic SE. If I click on the line over here, this window will open and show me all the available uh, VST instruments that I have in my Cubase. And all of these, this Halion Sonic SE, Loop Match, the Mystic, Patch Up, Prolog, and Retrolog, of course, the Spectro, they're all included in the package of the um, Cubase. And I'm here using Cubase 10.5. All the other instruments that you see here, the Serum, the Spire, and the Thint, these are external VST instruments that I've been purchasing from other websites. And these actually, they fit also better to the sound of the melodic techno and progressive house that I'm producing for myself. And I'm, I want to get your attention into this part, in the filter part. These actually, you can find them in all VST instruments, especially the ADSR equalization, A for the attack, the D for the decay, the S for the sustain, and the R is for the release. And if you shape the sound with these four meters, you really can do a lot of things with them. So let's try and see with the attack, for example, how we can change the sound. So you hear here the attack is much, much uh, lower. Same thing with decay. Okay, put it back in reverse. The sustain sound. Okay. And the release is how you have it in your face. Just give me here. So this part actually, and of course the level you can, if you need more sound of the uh, the effect that you have here, you can put the level up or down. The filter is also same. You can work with the cutoff filter. Also the envelope. The resonance. Make it more metallic. And of course all these are uh, all these adjustments, you can find them in different VST instruments the same way. I'm not going too deep into more functionalities, but if you really start with these ones, it's already more than enough to get started. And your sound, you can always come here and change the sound if you want to try something different. If you have also the exact sound, you can also look for the pad or whatever. And you can also move right and back. For example, if you want to change the sound, I just load the next program. Load. Load again. Come back to my crunch base. So here we go. So this is the first part. 
And let's say I want to create another channel with another instrument. Just click right here. I see here at track, come to instrument, and I will choose from the instruments that I have here which VST instrument that I want to get. So let's say now we try the Halion Sonic, keep it stereo, and I will say add. Now I have my channel open here and I have also my VST open here. So at the same time I can load a sound and of course I can also uh, play and record a MIDI sound over here. Or I can just make it much more simple for myself. Just copy this one, command D, and I will drop it down and see another sound that will change completely the form of the, uh, the melody. So let's say now we are looking for something for arpeggio and whatever, just take the first one. Two times I load it into the bus number one, you see it here. We still have 16 different bus. I will come back to the buses later on. Now let me hear what I get here, just with the same melody, but a different sound from a different VST. Okay, if I want to load another one. That's it. Let's put it a little bit down with the volume over here. Play them together. And you see here, I have almost the same adjustment. I can have the cutoff over here. Resonance. Just play with this, the chorus. You can have like kind of chorus over. Less or more reverb. So you see here, I can come into more effect over here. I can add more effect here in uh, the output that I want to use. And I can call for the whatever filter or reverb delay. Now I have the settings of my uh, delay over here and I can play with, with it. I just make something strong then you can really hear the difference. Now I can bypass it. Wait. Okay, and see, for example, if I come here to my load, and I want to say I'm not sure about this sound. I have it in the bus number one. You see here, I'm using the channel with the bus number one. If I come to bus number two, I can load something different here. And I say, okay, uh, let's say another arpeggio, and I would go a little bit down here to choose something different. Up. Okay, let's play this. You see, now I have sound here on the channel 2 that is blinking. If I come back to my channel 1, it will play the sound that I have in channel 1. So let's say what we can we do here with the edit. Let's work on the flux. So we, we choose the, uh, first of all, we got to choose the uh, bus that I want to work in. I play it. And see here, let's add some octaves up or down and see the difference. Down. You can add, take away the bass. Also the filter, if you cut the filter here. You can do a lot of things, just play until you get the sound that is shaped exactly the way you want it and you're ready to go with the, the melodies. The point here is like with the same melody, you can use different sounds from different VST instruments and you can layer them together and they make a different sound and a unique sound.
because then you have much more chance that you get your own sound different from mine. So let's say I put this together now. Shape it another with the other one. So you see, you can make it really unique. And this just was done for in a couple of minutes. If you give it more time, you can do things much more better. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video with more things to discover together. Bye.